hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to make this a uh, very simple kids cart so it's very very easy to make it so what you're gonna need is uh, you're gonna need a crochet hook which is 4.0 millimeters you can see so 4.0 that's the one that I used and I use the chunk yarn as you can see so I used acrylic but I would advise to use cotton in case you have a sensitive skin that one is better okay so it's very very easy and let's get started okay so we're going to start with the waistband and the waistband is different for different sizes so for small size we're going to do chain 17 for medium size you're going to do chain 18 and for the large size we're going to do chain 19 okay so I'll show you an example with a large size so we're going to do chain 19 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 Okay, so I'm using the pink yarn uh, because I'm doing I'm doing just a demonstration. Okay, so after the chain 19, we are going to start doing half double crochet all the way across, starting from the second chain from the hook. So we're going to do a half double crochet in the second chain, and we're going to continue and do half double crochet all the way across. Okay, so continue until you get here at the end okay so after you get to the end of the row now uh, you're going to do half double crochet in the last chain and then you're going to chain one and turn okay so now when we turn when you do half double crochet we have uh, two loops so we have the front loop and the back loop and from this row onwards we're going to do half double crochet in the back loops only okay so we're going to do half double crochet in the first uh, stitch in the back loop so half double crochet in the back loop only all the way across Okay, so after you get here at the end, we do have double crochet in the back loop. And remember, always remember in the very last chain, do have double crochet also over here. Because if you don't do have double crochet in the last chain, your work is not going to be straight. Okay, so when you get to the end again, you're going to repeat the same pattern as row two. So you're going to chain one and then continue again in the back loops only and do your half double crochets all the way across okay so you're going to continue doing half double crochet and then when you get here at the end do a chain one and repeat the same pattern 
all over again and you're going to repeat that until you have a waistband long enough to wrap around your waist so make sure it fits around your waist so i didn't count the number of stitches as you can see in my skirt so i just made sure it i can wrap it around my waist okay so when you're done with that i'm going to demonstrate with this waistband how we're going to join the two parts together okay so when you get to the end or when your waistband is long enough okay we're just going to do a chain one and then we're going to attach the two parts together like that as you can see and then we are going to slip stitch on both ends okay so i'm going to go into the first stitch of this other side and the other stitch and slip stitch okay so i'm going to continue slip stitching on both ends until i get to the end So when you get here at the end we're going to continue slip stitching and in the very last stitch also slip stitch on both sides okay and then when we're done we're going to chain one and then uh, to hide this loop over here we're just going to turn to the other side like that Okay, so as I said, this band is smaller because I'm just demonstrating on how you're going to do your skirt. So for your skirt, it's supposed to be much bigger. Okay, so after we're done with the waistband, now we're going to start working on the bottom part of the skirt. And what we're going to do is in every stitch all around, we are going to crochet to half double crochet in each stitch. Okay. So I'm going to do half double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and in the same stitch, I'll do another half double crochet. In the next stitch also, we're going to do two half double crochet. And we're going to continue like that. Okay, so two half double crochet in each stitch. Okay, so when you're doing your two half double crochet, another thing, don't do in the single single yarn like this or the single stitch like this make sure you do at least in two single crochet uh, so that your uh, skirt at the end looks nice okay so we're going to do again two half double crochet and we're going to continue all the way around Okay, so you're going to continue like that all the way until you get here where we started. Okay, guys, so after we get to the end of the row now, so we're going to do another half double crochet. I mean two half double crochet in the last chain, in the last stitch. And then we're going to do the, join the two parts together. So we're just going to do a slip stitch over here. And then we're going to continue into the second row. Okay, so from here we are going to do single crochets all okay. 
Okay, so from here we're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row in the remaining row So the reason why I did have double crochet here is to get this neat pattern Okay, so which is nice as you can see also in the complete ex um, Skirt this is how it looked here the pattern over here Okay, so now from here we're going to continue doing single crochet in each row so you have to put your marker here to remember where you started. So we're going to continue and do single crochet. Single crochet in every stitch. Okay, so continue doing single crochet all the way to the end. Okay, so after we get to the end of the row, we are going to finish off and do single crochet in every stitch around. Okay, and then after that, I'm just going to remove my marker and start my second row. Okay, so I'm just going to continue with my single crochets again all the way around okay and you're going to continue doing single crochet all the way until here at the end so basically you're going to continue with the same pattern all the way around so as you can see in this card that i did so mine i wanted a short skirt so i just did um for just a few more rows or not so many rows okay so and you're going to do single crochet all the way around until you get your skirt get to your desired length and then when you're done you're just going to cut off your yarn and do the finishing so that's it guys so after that you'll be ready to wear your skirt Okay, so guys, I hope you enjoyed this pattern. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and also check out my other videos. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comments below. And until next time, bye.